for five years and my mom just had a love of antiques ever since we were young. She collected a lot of Chinese antiques while we were over there and uh, when they came back and retired in 1990, uh, they started Hinchcliffe and Lee in Ontario. And uh, yeah, we are uh, very happy to be in Calgary and uh, you know, we've Calgary's been very good to us. We're very, very grateful. We're lucky, and uh, it's been a great ride. Twenty years ago in Calgary, it was <laughs> it was phenomenal when we opened the shop. It's kind of like the Wild West. Uh, Calgary was uh, predominantly uh, still, despite you know previous politicians talk about talking about diversifying the economy. Uh, this oil and gas town. Uh, it wasn't quite cow town like it used to be, but was still in the early throes of becoming cosmopolitan. So the great thing about that and the reason that we opened here was that uh, rents were affordable, taxes were low, uh, and probably the one thing that really clinched it for us to open here as opposed to uh, Vancouver or Seattle or someplace, someplace else on the West Coast was the people and um, the people here very hard working unpretentious now fast forward 20 years and our rent's gone up 400 500 percent our taxes have gone up probably 300 percent uh, and then throw into it probably one of the worst economies alberta has ever seen uh, and yeah it's tough it's tough. So, you know, we've always been responsible with the business and we didn't spend money uh, where we didn't have to. Um, but now we're running it super lean and mean. And I think, uh, I think there are a lot of businesses, if not all the businesses in, in Calgary that are going through this right now. Oh, so we, about the Olympics. How do I feel about the Olympics? The Olympics are magical. Uh, ever since I was a kid, you know, watching the Olympics was amazing. Uh, and it still is. Uh, the one thing that's changed probably since I was a kid was now I, as an adult and a business owner and father of a family, I have to look at uh, what does this mean to me, my business, uh, to, my ta to the taxes uh, and to, I guess, the greater Calgary and provincial economy as a whole. You know what, and I, you know what, uh, in my love for this city and for this province, you know, I have to consider everyone else, right? My love for everyone else, that enters, enters my heart. And, uh, you know, I don't want a mistake to be made and for people to suffer. And, you know, you can measure the benefits, the economic benefits for me, for my business, honestly, probably next to nothing. You know, we cannot put together another 1988 Olympics because, uh, you know, the variables have, have, have changed dramatically. And the main variable is, is that everything is so astronomically expensive. Um, it, it, it's unaffordable. As amazing as it would be to host the Calgary Olympics, you know, I, I'm sorry, you know, I think we have to say no. So I think what needs uh, to happen for small business to survive is that uh, the city needs to find ways to cut costs, uh, to find ways of tax relief. What could we do with that money? Oh. To help small business, to uh, improve our economy, to improve infrastructure, there's there's a thousand and one, a million and one ideas for that. Um, you know, how about a high speed rail between Calgary and Edmonton? We've been talking about that for years. How about um, looking after our seniors with different projects for housing and whatnot? How about uh, the homeless? Uh, helping them uh, with different programs for rehabilitation. Innovative to employ people, not short term, not for like the Olympics are gonna be a month and let's say the residual effect is for another 
uh, 10 to 12 months, but what about uh, for, uh, you know, the, it, it, would, it could be for years and years and years. I mean, let's, uh, let's take our resources and strategically, uh, strategically use them for the greater good of small business or even, even for large corporations, right? Um, everybody deserves a fair shake.